Today is an exciting day. It's a day we've waited for a long time. But we are down here at Reese Brothers and we are going to pick up the Pro Mod and uh, show you guys around a little bit. Show you guys what color the car is and then uh, we're going to take it over to Modern so they can take some final measurements on the wiring harness and then we can take this thing back home and get this thing ready for racing. So let's go check out the ride. What's up guys? Whoa. How you doing? Be good. Losing my voice a little bit. Look at that. We uh, looks so good on its wheels. Yeah. Man, man. All right. Well, we're here with uh, David Reese at Reese Brothers Race Car, and this is an exciting day for me and exciting day for uh, Firepunk fans because we've been working on a new race car for it's been what close to a year that we've started having this conversation at least, and uh, maybe. Have you tell us a little bit about your operation? You've been building race cars for a long time, right? Yeah, I've been racing 25 years or so. Yeah, and uh, he's got some pretty fast hot rods. I know the first time that really draw, drew our attention to Reese Brothers when you had uh, RVW and come out and run a 351 with a small yeah. block, and we're like, that's a bad man. Those were the days. <laughs> I tell you, it started a little bit before that. We built the OG Diablo car and, and ran some no-time stuff with it, and we had some pretty fast passes uh, of course we didn't tell anybody how fast we'd been and we didn't have any weight restrictions anything like that but uh, we actually went 68 with it really about a year before anyone went to 60s on a okay. 275 so what year would that been um see that's hard to keep up with yeah. i would say probably in 19 maybe yeah 19 or 20. So we did well uh, when we sold that car we got in with rick thornton you know he mm -hmm. had that small block program and we started helping him and got the car you know his car running pretty good with it um actually uh ran really well compared to what he was accustomed to and ended up uh but the car was a little bit heavy it wasn't uh built particularly for right. that small block so we put a new car together came out with a wedge mm -hmm. engine that uh rear morrison had put together for rick and where we only went like 70 flat or 72 with his car we went 64 65 okay. 62 made some more changes went in the 50s with it went 58 and then we put that new uh, Noonan Hemi small block together okay. and came back out. And that's when it started really going fast, 54, right. 52, 51. Then they threw the weight at yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, it, I guess it comes with yeah. uh, with uh, results. You know? Right. But, no, it was cool. And uh, that's when we first took the S10 down to Ducks Race and started racing down there. You just start paying attention. It's really cool to see some of the cars that you guys have put together. And there's just yeah. a lot of fast race cars out there. And, and uh, I guess your confidence was uh, some of it that sold us on working with you because you start talking about, hey, we've got a diesel truck. It's outside of the realm of normal race car things. And uh, you know we wanted to tap into some of that knowledge experience of normal race cars that we can tie in with a diesel power plant. And that's kind of what we're hoping to take some of our power plant that we have with the S10. Yeah, honestly, I was a little worried, you know, y'all first come down talking about the diesel deal, mainly because I knew so little about the mm -hmm. diesel. And then once we started talking about we're going to do a car, of course, I had, I probably have a very high confidence level about being able to build a lighter car. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of the focus was to try to build something a little more uh, strategic. But still, after starting it, I still was a little bit worried, you know, mm -hmm. about my lack of knowledge with the diesel and everything that you said y'all would do and these things matter really typically doesn't really matter with us i was a little wor i still was a little bit more worried but y'all do really well with mm -hmm. the diesel program and uh you know as we went on through the build there's a little more confidence a little more confidence right. and uh and now ultimately i mean it's just a, a bunch of parts and bars and, and i think it'll be whatever y'all make of it and right. we make of it together right yeah i mean it's it's a car it has a lot of potential looking at it um and it's couple hundred pounds lighter than what the S10 is and it still has a heavy Mark Williams rear end in it. Um, that's something that we wanted to put a nine inch range in it but we couldn't quite find the the rear gear ratio that we wanted so we kind of stuck with the Mark Williams just because it's strong and we had the gear ratio for it but we could still probably save another what 75 pounds. Yeah I would say you could uh, probably take an easy 75 80 pounds. Yeah. Um, there's some things you know now we know we could change carbon brakes and, and mm -hmm. other things on there you know make it a little lighter i didn't really feel that it was going to be on the heavier side mm -hmm. um, but that engine man it's yeah it's pretty uh it's it pretty is because we're 
I mean, probably what, 200 pounds heavier than what you're used to with the Hemi yeah. stuff. Well, so, really not 200, it's probably 150 pounds. Yeah. yeah. But it is different. We also, um, we're going to try a five-speed Liberty. We were on the three-speed Rossler before, which has worked out great. The thought of the five-speed is if we need to keep the tall rear gear in it, and if we need to get our starting line ratio better, we have more splits to be able to get a lower starting line ratio. But that's all stuff that the car's enough lighter, we're going to let off the button and see what it is before we need to know what, what yeah. gears to change. I think uh, the five speed was a wise decision just because of the lack of, or the inability to get the, the rear gear that you needed. Right. It definitely would you know be easier to accomplish different things mm -hmm. with the five speed. Well, we can run it as a three or a four or a five. Yeah, that was a little bit heavier to go that route, but I think it was a viable option just because it, what we had to work with. You know? It gives us a lot of option to change stuff at the racetrack. Roster will build us whatever gear ratio we want trans, but the trans has to go back. So I'm hoping that we can get this on the track. Yeah. And if we do need to make a change on test day, we can pull the trans out and change gear ratios. The Liberty gives you a lot of options on changing that stuff around, but yeah. I'm excited. You know, I, I feel like you have a lot of knowledge that you can tap into and in helping us, you know, make sure that we can get our, if you look at a G meter, a G meter is a G meter, whether it's a diesel power plant or a gas power plant. And it's just, helping us know what to look for. We need to add power, we need to take power away, we need to... You know me, I'm pretty modest. I don't never want to tell anybody I know anything or I'll help you all I know to do. You right. Know? So, but yeah, maybe I have seen a lot of things. I may be good, I'm, may not be any good. <laughs> I may, it may, I may yeah. not do any, anything for it's you. It's racing though, right? Yeah. yeah. Some some years you're on it and some years you're not. So That's right. We all, we all had our good days at the racetrack and bad days at the racetrack. But all together, I really appreciate it. It's been good working with you guys down here. I mean, they have a, a, a nice operation down here in Georgia. Uh, this is the finishing shop, and they've got their fab shop down down the uh, drive a little bit. Um, but it's been it's been good working with you guys and really looking forward to getting this thing on the track. Yeah, and We really appreciate the work uh, and opportunity to build you a nice car. You know? Yep. Well, I'm sure you guys are going to see more of us at the racetrack. Um, we're going to get this thing out. We're hoping to debut this at UCC in Indy June 2nd. Uh, we're hoping to have tested before that. Um, we've got some wiring stuff to finish and just some fuel and oil plumbing to finish up. And then we can make some smoke yeah. and uh, get this thing look, to the racetrack. I look forward to, uh, to seeing it make a pass. And nice, it's nice to build cars and see them all the way through to the end, you know, and, and to work with people that do everything they can do to make it nice, you know. It, right. It's nice to have those kind of customers, you know. Yep, it'll be good. And you said you'd drive it if we asked you yeah, to. Yeah, anytime. You know, I'm, I'm, I just want you to know, like, I'm good with letting go of the button and anything. You yep. just tell me what to do. And... <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's it. Earlier he was like, Larson's scared to drive it. I'll drive it. Yeah, so. all the fun stuff, you just call me. I'm there. <laughs> yep. Well, I really appreciate it, David. And uh, thank you very much.